Welcome into WMAR 2 News at 11. I'm Jeff Morgan. Jamie and Kelly are off tonight. It still feels like a nightmare we haven't quite woken up from. The Key Bridge collapse leaves behind immense damage, both physical and emotional. Tonight, a chance to honor the six victims we lost 17 days ago. WMAR 2 News' Jack Watson was at a vigil for those victims. Jack, what was it like out there tonight? Hey, Jeff, it was tranquil in Hawkins Point tonight as folks came out to pay their respects. Those who know the families of the victims were asking for your prayers tonight, especially with three of those men still unaccounted for. It's silent and solemn, about a mile and a half away from the debris of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. A display honors all six victims. The family minor is close to me. Hilda Lopez came here from Silver Spring to attend a Friday vigil here. Lopez tells me she is best friends with the wife of minor Suazo Sandoval's brother. She says the family is heartbroken. I give you support every day to the family, the brothers, uh, minor, every day until I'm be here. I'm giving you support. Folks come and go on Friday night to pay their respects. Candles lit in honor of the six men, all of whom are represented with an individual cross. Flowers and belongings placed at the displays, along with flags of their countries of origin. Nearby, progress clearing the bridge wreckage is moving along. Crews took dozens of containers off the dolly this week, which will ultimately help them move the massive cargo ship out of the channel. They hope to reopen the channel by the end of May. I have a painting, I have a mural when I invited them to, uh, to bring their, their own uh, signatures, their sandwiches, some of them left their uh, handprints and uh, they even write their names on it. Artist Roberto Marquez has worked on this mural for 12 days and hopes this corner in Hawkins Point can serve as a place to honor them. You know, it's important because, uh, you know, since uh, these this families, they lost the lowest, you know, they need to have a place where they can come and, and we all unite. For those families, the emotional toll of the collapse can't be understated. And for some of the families of those lost, there is not yet closure. A sign reads, find the missing. A week ago today, we learned minor Suazo Sandoval's body had been recovered. To our knowledge, he is still the latest victim to be recovered, Jeff.